Picture yourself by the sea, on a sandy beach, under the radiant sun. Imagine the warm waves gently lapping against the shore. It's the perfect place and season for a vacation. Hello, everyone. Could you picture it? But fear not, what we have in store for today's video doesn't quite fit that serene description. However, it's too early to be disappointed. Since this is our channel, get ready for waves that go beyond the ordinary, even leaving a lasting mark in the records. Are you excited about that? Well then, let's get started. Surfing How can we tell if the waves are big or small? Simply by placing someone near the waves, everything becomes clear. However, there's no need to make someone stand there because there are people who willingly seek out even larger waves. Surfers are courageous athletes who know where on earth to find places suitable for training and competitions. In 2020, near Praia do Norte, in the town of Nazaré, Portugal, Brazilian surfer Maya Gabira conquered waves like the one you see, setting the current women's world record. The record stands at 22 meters and 40 centimeters. This surpasses her previous record by 1 meter and 60 centimeters. Waves of this magnitude are massive water mountains, posing a significant challenge even for professionals. After riding the waves, surfers might be dragged down to depths of around 15 meters. In such situations, quickly assessing the direction and surfacing is crucial, leading to glorious moments and making it into the Guinness Book. The Guinness Book recognized Germany's Sebastian Stuttner, who set a new world record in 2020 in Nazare, Portugal. In this Everest of the surfing world, he rode a wave with a height of 26 meters and 21 centimeters. This height is equivalent to an eight-story building. How did the Guinness Book researchers measure the wave height? If you happen to know the method, please share it in the comments. Waves and ships Water covers 71% of the Earth's surface. Just imagine what unfolds in this vast ocean when we're not looking. Yet, even by merely observing recorded events, one can grasp the immense power that the world's oceans possess. This is particularly true when considering the accounts of those who were on board ships at the time. Take, for example, the LPG Sea Antwerp a gas carrier caught in a storm by the Bay of Bengal, experiencing the sheer force of water during a cyclone. With wind speeds reaching 110 km per hour, waves toss the 180-meter vessel like a child's toy boat. While the ship's normal speed is 30 km per hour, battling these waves nearly halts the gas carrier, progressing at a mere 1 km per hour. Amidst severe swaying, the ship tilts at an alarming 30-degree angle. Although this is a different ship, the perspective from the outside is quite similar. This is the Celestial Odyssey, a cruise ship where passengers anticipated a comfortable voyage. However, what do you think? Did they enjoy it? Watching a video filmed from the Calamity Jane, an offshore support vessel in the North Sea, gives insight into the feelings of Celestial Odyssey's passengers. Despite less than ideal weather and intense rocking, brace yourselves for even more thrilling scenes ahead. Witness as a 20-meter wave crashes down onto the entire ship. And here's a similar occurrence seen from the cruise ship P&O Adonia. Rogue Waves Rogue waves are legendary, yet their existence is a proven fact. These waves, occurring without apparent reason, tower far above the surrounding waves. Researchers long doubted the existence of these colossal waves, but now they actively study the phenomenon, striving to uncover the causes behind their occurrence. Considering the perilous threat rogue waves pose to ships, it's entirely understandable why researchers find this phenomenon intriguing. Witness the impact the Aleutian Ballad faced in the Barents Sea in 2005. 
an 18-meter wave knocked the ship down, but against all odds, the vessel managed to recover from the impact, righting itself on the water surface and persevering on its course despite the ordeal. Faire de Four Lighthouse in France If you logically consider where to find the most massive waves, what comes to mind? Lighthouses emerge as ideal candidates for this spectacle. Enter the Fer de Four Lighthouse, nested along the Brittany coast in France, and you have the perfect setting. For enthusiasts of the wild beauty of waves, the scenes captured here in 2018 are nothing short of mesmerizing. When the wind is a fierce 100 kilometers per hour, small waves are out of the question. Imagine an enormous wave effortlessly enveloping a 28-meter lighthouse. In the midst of water spray, the lighthouse appears toy-like, only to be entirely concealed by the next moment's splashes and foam. A truly remarkable sight. The 2015 Tsunami in Chile on September 16, 2015, a magnitude 8.3 earthquake struck near the town of Iapel in Chile. According to official reports, approximately 1 million residents received Tsunami Alert SMS messages on their mobile phones, prompting evacuations from the danger zones. Thanks to this swift response, many lives were spared. Just minutes after the earthquake, a tsunami with a height of 4.5 meters surged onto the coast. The immense power of the tsunami led to several large fishing vessels and numerous boats being washed ashore at Coquimbo Port. Other coastal towns also suffered significant damage from this disaster. In the affected region, over 500 buildings were destroyed and 9,000 people lost their homes due to the earthquake and tsunami. However, a famous lighthouse in the town of La Serena, though impacted, withstood this major catastrophe. Could there be a special significance to this resilience in the face of such a massive disaster? The 2014 Aske Volcano Tsunami Oshkvaten is the second deepest lake in Iceland. Situated within the caldera of the Aska Volcano, which stands at an elevation of approximately 1,500 meters, this lake is a rare and remarkable sight. Nearby lies the picturesque Viti Lake, a small yet popular destination for tourists. At first glance, one wouldn't imagine colossal waves occurring in this mountainous terrain. However, in 2014, precisely such an event unfolded here. On July 21st, after a series of earthquakes, an 800-meter-long rock slide cascaded down the slope of the volcano, plummeting 350 meters into the water. This landslide triggered a tsunami of 30 meters in the lake, causing the water level to rise by 2 meters afterward. Fortunately, the landslide occurred around midnight and there were no tourists on the mountain slope at that time. The 2015 Mega Tsunami in Alaska Tsunamis are already unstoppable forces of nature on their own. However, mega tsunamis are significantly larger and more intense. Quite recently in Alaska, such a mega tsunami came to life, and surprisingly, people didn't immediately realize it. On October 17, 2015, a landslide occurred at the western end of the Ton Fjord causing 76 million cubic meters of rock, with a total weight of 181 million tons, to collapse into the water in just one minute. This rock mass traveled at a speed of around 100 kilometers per hour, creating waves as high as 100 meters. The waves hit the opposite shore of the fjord, surging inland about 200 meters from the coast. However, a significant portion of the water descended down the fjord, entering the icy bay 15 kilometers away. Even at that point, the waves were still substantial, reaching about 12 meters in height. People only became aware of this disaster several hours later when seismometers recorded an anomaly of magnitude 4.9. Disaster won't strike unless you approach calamity seems fitting in this context. Tidal bore. 
The Chiantang River in Zhejiang Province, China, entices tourists with its powerful tidal bores. This natural phenomenon occurs when tidal forces enter the riverbed. As the flow narrows, it transforms into massive waves, reaching heights of up to 9 meters. Local residents affectionately call these waves the Silver Dragon, and among surfers, conquering these 40 km per hour waves is a popular endeavor. Navigating such waves is no easy feat for small boats, prompting the construction of special barriers to protect them. These small barriers halt the flow and redirect it towards the shore. Consequently, numerous tourists gather here to capture awe-inspiring photos. Sometimes, it's just about observing and recording videos. However, the unpredictable power of the waves means they might unexpectedly surge towards the riverbank. It's advisable not to get too close when that happens. Unless you want your clothes to serve as a makeshift towel or find yourself swimming with the water's flow until the wave subsides. This rivals any water park, and undoubtedly, it's more exhilarating. And certainly, much more unpredictable. And with that, we'll conclude today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Your support through likes contributes to the channel and motivates us to create new content for you. We sincerely appreciate your cooperation. So for now, it's goodbye for a little while. Everyone, let's meet again soon. Goodbye!